Are you preparing for exam about financial ratios? Memorizing the financial ratios always give us headache. There are a lot of them and may look intimidating. Well, don't worry. I will give you techniques on how to easily memorize the financial ratios. This is the topic on this video. First, the liquidity ratios, particularly current ratio and quick ratio. The two of them have similar denominator, the current liabilities. So what's the difference? It's the numerator. For current ratio, the numerator is all the current assets. But you can think of mnemonic CME IP. In current ratio, CME IP stands for cash, marketable securities, account receivable, inventories, and prepaid expenses. For numerator of quick ratio, only use mnemonic CMA which stands for cash, marketable securities, and accounts receivable. Any ratios that ends with word margin, the denominator is always sales, also known as revenue. The numerator is the name of the ratio. For gross profit margin, the numerator is gross profit. For net profit margin, the numerator is net profit or net income. The same thing will apply to operating profit margin. For ratios that start with the word return, the numerator is usually net income. The denominator is the average of the last word of the ratio name. In return on equity, the last word is equity, so denominator is average total equity. The same technique also applies to return on assets and return on common equity. Take note that some books have different numerator for return on assets. Check the textbook use in classroom on official formula used in exam you will be taking. For return on common equity, numerator is not net income. You need to deduct the preferred dividends because of course, the common stockholders will not receive the preferred dividends. For turnover ratios, the denominator is the average of the name of the ratio. For accounts receivable turnover ratio, the denominator is average accounts receivable. The same technique also applies to inventory turnover, accounts payable turnover, total assets turnover, and fixed asset turnover. Numerator is matching income statement account. For accounts receivable turnover ratio, the numerator is credit sales because account receivable is related to credit sales. For inventory turnover, numerator is cost of sales because inventory is related to cost of sales. For accounts payable turnover, numerator is purchases. Total asset turnover and fixed asset turnover have same numerator of sales because both pertain on how the firm use its assets to generate sales. Ratio that starts with the word days, the denominator is turnover. Turnover of which asset depends on the name of the ratio. For this inventory on hand, the denominator is inventory turnover. For days receivable, also known as days of sales at standing DSO and also average collection period, the denominator is receivables turnover. The numerator is 365 days. Some textbooks use 360 days so check the textbooks used in classroom and also the official formulas used in exams such as CMA, CFA, and CPA. Next technique is simply changing to into divided by. For example, in debt to equity ratio, change to into divided by. That means total liabilities and equity means total stockholders equity. It's very easy, right? For debt to assets ratio, also known as debt ratio, that means total liabilities and asset means total assets. Take note that some textbooks define debt as only the interest bearing short term and long term debt. So check the textbook used in classroom and also the official formulas used in exams. For price to earnings ratio or price earnings ratio, the numerator is market price per share and denominator is earnings per share. The formula is in the name itself. Another easy to remember ratio, right? There are few ratios need to be memorized thoroughly, but you already know how to easily memorize most of them. Well, maybe you have your own ideas on how to easily memorize financial ratios. If you have, please write your comment. Clicking the like icon will help spread ideas and will help a lot of people. Finally, good luck on taking your exams. I wish you all the success.